Welcome to Unit Circle Survival Guide. Today we're going to find the exact value of sine of 11 pi over 4, and we'll use the SARC method. So here's an outline of the method. So SARC helps us remember the order of the steps. First, S, we sketch the angle's terminal side. A, we use ASTC to decide if the final answer should be positive or negative. R, third, we're going to find the reference angle and then the special right triangle and coordinates that correspond with that. And then C, calculate. Our final step will be to find our trig ratio and simplify. So we're going to do that for sine of 11 pi over 4. As we look at this exact value, we see that 11 pi over 4 is more than one rotation. So it's greater than 2 pi. So before we sketch this angle, we actually want to find what's called a co-terminal angle. And we simply do that by subtracting 2 pi, or its equivalent. So we can take 11 pi over 4, and we're going to subtract a rotation, 2 pi. But we want it to have a common denominator of 4, so we'll write 2 pi as 8 pi over 4. So when sketching our terminal side, we can actually sketch the terminal side of the angle 3 pi over 4, and it'll be the same angle as 11 pi over 4, just without that additional rotation. Okay, so here's 0. We know that it's a positive angle, so we're rotating counterclockwise. We have pi over 2 here and pi here, or that's the same thing as 4 pi over 4. So we see that the terminal side for 3 pi over 4 or for 11 pi over 4 falls right here, halfway in the second quadrant. Okay, so now that we have our terminal side sketched, we can use ASTC, think all students take classes, to decide should our final answer be positive or negative. ASTC simply works its way around from quadrant 1 to quadrant 4 and helps us remember which trig functions are positive in each quadrant. So we start in quadrant 1, all are positive. In quadrant 2, which is the one we care about for this problem, sine and cosecant will be positive. And so we know our, our final answer for the sine of 11 pi over 4 will be positive. If you went into the third and fourth quadrant, the t tells us tangent and cotangent are positive in the third. Cosine and secant are the positive ones in the fourth. All right, now we can move on to step three, where we are going to draw our reference triangle. And first we need to find our reference angle, which is simply the amount of rotation from our terminal side to the x-axis. So that's right here. So a simple way to think about that reference angle, calculating it, is we've rotated 3 pi over 4. That was our terminal angle. How much rotation do you need to get to 4 pi over 4? So that is simply pi over 4 as the reference angle. And pi over 4 is equivalent to a 45 degree angle. So we can think of the 45, 45, 90 special rate triangle to get our coordinates. And because we already decided the sine in the second step, we know our final answer is positive, we're drawing our triangle in the first quadrant and we'll just work with positive values. Um, that eliminates the possibility of error with signs. All right, so we know the coordinates that go with the 45, 45, 90 special right triangle are root two over two for the x and y. And now that we know the coordinates, we're ready to calculate. So we know in the unit circle, the sine of an angle is simply going to be the y coordinate. And that's because our radius on the unit circle is one. So we can simply look at the y coordinate. We don't really have to calculate. Uh, we remember from step two that our final answer is positive, And we know that the sine of 11 pi over four is going to be positive square root of two over two. And that's all there is to it. Be sure to check the video description for links to more worked examples of exact values. And I'll also post a link that will send you to a lot of videos that break down each of the steps into basics and explain them in a lot more detail. If you're needing help with one of the particular skills in one of the steps, you can check there. All right. Thanks so much for watching.